Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to set up this TireMinder TPMS system. This is going to allow you to monitor your tire pressure and temperature when you're going down the road using either their app or the included monitor. Plus, it's going to have flow through sensors so you can monitor everything but still have access to fill up your tires if need be without having to remove those sensors. Let's check it out. A few things to note that this kit is going to come with six sensors. So for our triple axle trailer here, we've got enough to get the whole trailer. We can pick up more separately in pairs and the monitor can sync with up to 22 sensors. So plenty of room for expansion on either bigger trailers or if you want to add your truck into the mix. The sensor threads directly onto the valve stem and it has a locking nut behind it. So you can't just twist this off and remove it. This is the sensor itself. The cap can be very easily removed to pop out the batteries and replace if need be, but they will last for a long time just on battery power. But it's nice to know that the process is easy to replace them. And then at the very end here is our new cap where we can fill up our tires with air if we need to. So again, that's where the pass through part comes into play. We don't have to remove the sensor just to fill our tire now. The kit also includes a repeater, which we'll see a little bit more in the install process that just clamps up to the battery of your trailer and helps to give you a more reliable signal in the cab of your truck. It's also gonna have a zippered pouch for the monitor. So if you plan on primarily using that smartphone app, you can use that and just keep this safe or just use this for storage if you maybe put your rig away for the winter. The unit does have an internal battery, so you can bring it around with you. That's how we had it back there by the tires initially. And it can be plugged in charged using a micro USB, which they do include. When you plug in the micro USB, you can plug it into USB-A. You can plug it into a normal household outlet or 12 volt DC in your vehicle to charge. That charger again is included. And then whenever you've got this all charged up, if you don't want any wires dangling down, no problem. Just put it up on the included magnet mount to your windshield, wherever you've got it set up. And then you don't have any cords dangling down like you might for, let's say a camera monitor on your camper. That's gonna give you pretty much as close to real time monitoring as you can get, updating every six seconds. If there were to be some catastrophic loss in tire pressure or sudden increase in temperature though, it would notify you right away. And all of that is something you can set during the initial setup process, what kind of parameters you're looking for and what a normal tire pressure for your tires would be. And it can work anywhere from zero up to 199 PSI. So even if you've got some bigger tires, you should be able to get it working just fine. To switch between tire pressure and temperature monitoring, just hit the center button you'll hear a beep and it'll change over whatever we're monitoring in the top. And really beyond that, power buttons on the top to turn it on and off. And we probably wanna know what that setup process is like. Now, speaking from my recent experience with Kurt's TPMS system and some of the other ones I've done in the past, this one was really straightforward. The setup process was quick and the sensors actually synced up quicker than anything I've ever worked with before, which was really nice because it made my job easier. And anything that makes the setup process quick and simple is something I really look for. So we'll walk you through the whole process right now to show you how we got it installed on our rig today. And you can follow along and use that as a guide to help your install process. Let's check it out. Now, the first thing you need to do for your installation is get the monitor charging. We've got ours inside right now, plugged into the wall because it is battery powered or you can have it plugged in so we'll need it charged for the whole setup process. And while that's going, you can hook up your repeater. Now ours, we've got in our camper, depending on how you've got this set up, your installation may vary here, but generally you just want it somewhere between the tires and the vehicle where the monitor is gonna be. It's a little tight in there, so I didn't show the install process, but we can see what it looks like right now, all set up. We're gonna do our best to show this to you, but here is that monitor or that repeater mounted up to this brace right here in our storage compartment and the cord runs down through the side and straight over to our battery where it's got some alligator clamps on the positive and negative terminal. Now the kit comes with batteries but they don't come installed so you will need to pop those in yourself 
just by taking off the cover and popping the battery in plus side face up and just put the cap back on. So when you first turn it on, it's gonna say monitoring, but we have to sync everything up. So on the bottom, there's an up and down arrow. Press them both for five seconds and it's gonna go into learn mode. Now all of the possible locations where we can sync up these monitors are gonna be blinking. One in particular is gonna be blinking at the top left. We wanna set that up for our driver's side front tire. Now this neighbor did purchase extra sensors, so we've got them for the camper and the truck. So I'm gonna leave that one for the truck's front tire. And what I'm gonna do is use the up and down arrows to navigate to the spot that I want to sync up for this backside tire on the trailer on the passenger side. I've got it blinking there right now. I can take whatever sensor I want. Your kit does also come with jam nuts and I would recommend installing those before you start the whole syncing process. This is just gonna be an extra layer of security. So I'll get that threaded on as far as it'll go. Then I can put my sensor on and use the included wrench to tighten that jam nut against the sensor to keep it from being turned. So once that's tightened, shouldn't be able to turn that by hand. I could probably tighten it just a little bit more, but we're gonna just repeat that same process all around. Now, after threading it on, you probably heard that beep. I've got a tire pressure readout right now in that position that I set. I can press the arrow, moving on to the next position and just repeat for all the remaining tires. With all the sensors synced up, we're in the truck now. I'm gonna press and hold those arrow buttons again until we go back to monitoring mode. And from here, we're almost done. We can set our baselines. So what that means is we're just gonna basically set the units of measurement for our tire pressure, our temperature, and what our normal tire pressure for all of them is gonna be. So press and hold the center button for five seconds and we'll go into baseline mode. You can see that right there and PSI will be flashing. You can use the arrows to select your unit of measurement and press the center button whenever you're ready to move on. Same deal for the temperature. Now that the Fahrenheit is flashing, you can switch that to your preferred unit of measurement. Press the center button again and you'll go around to all the tires and we can set whatever we want our normal or baseline tire pressure to be. I'm gonna leave this all as is for now and it'll just cycle through. And when you've reached the proper one that you want to set, you can hit the center button to move to the next until everything is fully moved through. And then you can press and hold the center button again for five more seconds. And we're back to monitoring mode and we're ready to hit the road. The suction cup mount can be used to mount everything up to the windshield, throwing the lever to secure it. We can move that arm to our desired position and the monitor will just stick on with a magnet. This is maybe not the most ideal position, but that's where we're gonna leave it today for the video so you can kind of see things. And that'll do it for our look at and setup of this tire minder TPMS system. Thanks for watching.